Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about ProBuilder and ProBuilder is a tool that I started using a few days ago to do modeling within Unity. If you know, I actually used to use Maya 3D to do all my modeling, which meant that I had to, you know, I had to leave Unity in order to create models. And now with ProBuilder, which is now part of Unity, I can easily go into the package manager, which I'll show you. And the package manager, it's something new for Unity as well that allows you to download packages that Unity is now including. They don't come out of the box in Unity, but you can download them. So if you if you look at what I have right now, I have post processing, I have Pro Builder, and Pro Builder is already installed. But if you don't have it installed, simply go to Window, Package Manager, click on All and then select Pro Builder and then hit install and that will get you going. So what I wanna work on today is I wanna show you what I what I built with Pro Builder. Anything in here is basically all built with that tool. So you have different options uh, that Pro Builder offers. There are four icons on the Unity Editor. This one is the object mode. Basically you can select the objects around the scene. You also have just basically all the controls that Unity provides to the transformations out of the box. So if I wanted to move things around like that, I could. If I want to scale, I can still do my scaling. You can also use the pivot option, the global option. So all of that stuff is working automatically, which is great because I don't have to learn new Unity commands. And if I click on the ver vertices, you can actually go in and select vertices. So I can go in and you know select that vertice, vertice and then move it around. I can do the same thing with this one. I can do multiple selection as well if I wanted to. And the other cool thing is I can still use you know all the different controls that Unity provides to navigate through the scene, which is great. And then the third option is the edge selection. So if I wanted to, for example, I wanted to select an edge of this mesh, I could easily select that mesh and I can select multiple meshes and then a scaling on the Z axis. So you can also undo just like you do with any game object. So, so that's pretty much those three controls. And then the last one is one of the ones that I use the most is the face selection reason why I use it so much is because I can easily extrude. So one cool option that ProBuilder provides is if you hold shift while you're doing a transformation, I can extrude. If I wanna extrude again, I hit, I hit shift and then I extrude. If I wanna move up, basically I can, I can extrude again. I can also rotate if I wanted to rotate. So, it's pretty, pretty cool how easy it is to create models now in Unity. So I'm gonna undo that because we don't wanna ruin our, our design. So so that, that's what those four selections do. And on the left side, you have basically all the controls that ProBuilder provides. So if I change to object mode, you can see that the menu is automatically changing. If I select ver vertex selection, the menu is selecting base basically on that context. Same thing with edge selection and the same thing with face selection. So the other thing that you can do here too is you can go from, so I like text mode because I don't know ProBuilder that well, but you can, you know, if you wanna use icon mode, you can see the icons and it's actually pretty helpful too because you can see, you know, from the icon what, what it's actually doing. The other cool thing is, you know, if you, if you hold, if you hover over an icon, it'll tell you what it actually do in addition to what the icon demonstrates. So that's something that I really like as well. But I'm gonna go back to text mode. You can also, you know, if you wanted to snap that window to the right, you could just like any other inspector control or window control in Unity. So I'm gonna move it to the left. That's kind of where I like to have it. And that's pretty much, you know, the, the overview of ProBuilder. I cover, you know, how to install ProBuilder from the package manager, where do you have to go to do that, and then also some of the basic selections.
for the main menu in the editor and then also the Pro Builder main menu that has all the different options. So on the next video, we're gonna go through and, and actually create a car. If you look at these two lights right now, I have two spotlights reflecting on the character, but I haven't actually created a car yet. I just have, you know, a rectangular box sitting in there, but I wanna finish that up and, and create a more, you know, a, a more realistic car or a more low polygon car that will reflect what a car looks like. So thank you again, guys. I, I appreciate it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know through, you know, through the comments or through Twitter. I'm always available there. Thank you again.